Skyler Thomas here. Let's do a quick Mavic 2 zoom unboxing and comparison to the old Mavic. You can see that they are very similar in size. Uh, the controllers are similar in size and the battery is similar in size, although the new one, which is the far one, is a little bit bigger. Here's what it comes down to. They are basically the same size and shape they have taken a lesson from Apple in that nothing accessory wise still works with the new model and they use an insane amount of packaging. Can you use your old batteries? No. Can you use your old battery chargers? No. Which means for anyone like me that bought a Fly More pack and you got extra batteries or you got something like the car charging unit or the hub that charges multiple batteries at once, all worthless now. How about your filters, like an ND filter? No. What about the old propellers and all your replacement propellers? No. You can see the subtle difference between the old propeller, the Mavic 1 right here, and the Mavic 2 here. Now, officially, I did get the Mavic 1 propeller to go on the Mavic 2. And if anyone noticed that in the video, you have quite an eye for detail. Now, I'm not going to fly it like this. Um, I don't know if I can or not, but it's just not worth the risk until someone else confirms that. You can see that the propeller blades on the new one are a little bit longer and wider, and I hear that this one is quieter. I have not confirmed that yet. You also see that out of the box, the joysticks are missing from here. Just pop the arms open and the joystick is in there. That's handy for traveling. If you don't want them to bend or you just want it to get a little bit smaller, you can hide them in there. That's great for everyone except for someone like me who is prone to losing things. So I think I will probably just leave mine attached once they're on. One and only one of my accessories from before fits with anything new here, and that is my iPad adapter. The real review will have to wait until November when I'm going to Guadalupe and I will try using the zoom lens filming great white sharks from above.